<laughs> Dude. What's up, y'all? It's Chishka Jackson. So today I'm doing a QA. and a um, You guys asked me a bunch of questions, and I'm going to respond back to them in this video rather than all in the comments online. First question, what's it like being a rapper? It's really just like normal life, but I mean, people come up to me that I don't know sometimes and you know recognize me for doing something that I love, and that's that's cool. But I mean, most of the time, yeah, it's just a regular person's life. I mean, it's not like I'm some superstar or anything yet. You guys gotta make that happen. How do you handle all the likes from ladies? I get a lot more likes from guys, actually, which is, they're mainly just like hip hop heads. They appreciate the craft. So that's the main fan base that's actually liking a lot of stuff, but you know, I'm, I'm single, so it doesn't matter if I get lady likes. I don't know, it's just normal. <laughs> Question number three, Superman versus Mighty Mouse. Who would win? You know, Mighty Mouse is kind of like a ripoff of Superman and he's not uh, as impervious as Superman is. As much as I don't like Superman, I'm gonna have to say Superman wins that one. Buddy Stokes asks, when are you gonna ask me about sound? Let me know what you do, man. Uh, I'm always down to help out a friend and you know make something happen. Question number four. When did you first recognize yourself as a good singer slash rapper slash performing artist? As a child or an adult? I never really considered myself like a real good singer or like a, I guess in like my teenage years is when I started rapping. Uh, I started rapping at 17, but that's that's when I considered myself a good rapper, but that was just because I was cocky. And looking back on it now, I really wasn't that good. Uh, a lot better now than I was then, thankfully. When was your first performance? A talent show at North Eugene High School. My senior year, I did a rap, rap song that I wrote. And uh, it, it went really well, but I mean, my stage performance was definitely off i wasn't very charismatic or anything about that um but i still got a lot of love for it and continue to do what i do what does it take to be a good human being uh, i honestly think that it's just like your mentality on you know how you're treating others and uh being real like i, I don't want to say optimistic because sometimes that could lead you blindly but you know you got to have some sort of goal or aspiration of how you want to treat others and how you want others to treat you really you know just be nice to each other and have a, a good outlook on life and then you don't bring others down and, you know pe you're real more likely to attract people around you are our brains limitless or contained i'd like to think that a lot of people's are contained ultimately limitless to what you can do i mean you can continue to grow continue to learn do you think there are more angels than negative entities i would have to say that they're equal you know i believe in the old old school traditional native way you know it's not real angels and demons for me but really just entities for for sure positive and negative but you got to have both in order to create that balance in the world favorite kung fu flick anything by bruce lee anything what's your best motivational life lesson and what about it helped you to get where you are today i would just have to say you know like the the struggles of everything seeing all my friends get either locked up or end up dying um, just by the lives that they were living and not choosing to take advantage of their talents and utilizing that to be become something greater. So I want to utilize what I have inside of me and push it forward to make something greater, not only for me, but for other people as well. If you were to get on a flight and it was going to crash, who would you make your last phone call to? I'd have to say my Mima. Yeah, I'd probably call her. Cause I know she would contact everybody else. What's your favorite Dragon Ball game? I really want to play the new one, the Z Fighter, but I'd have to say it's uh, Budokai 2. Who's your favorite rapper? J. Cole. J. Cole is my favorite rapper. If you could bring back anybody famous back to life to fight, who would it be? I don't know. I don't really have beef with somebody famous or somebody that died that I'd be like, I just want to bring him back to fight. I'd probably bring back Bruce Lee and fight him just so I could learn from the experience. Who's your most influential local MC? Maddie from Salem. I mean, you guys, if you're from around here, you guys know him. He uh, kind of put me under his wing, mentored me throughout a lot of things. Uh, helped me learn, you know, a lot of the ways of the, the business and, you know, how to book shows. You know, we went on tour and stuff together. Um, did a lot of shows together. But then, um, also like my BGS crew, you know, they, they're always pushing me to do better. So, uh, that influences me in a way that I'm just kind of like, 
I gotta keep growing, keep getting better. Favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Bardock, hands down. If you don't know who that is, you better get watching, but I'm gonna spoil it for you anyway, it's Goku's dad. If you could have any Pokemon as a real life pet, who would it be? Uh, Vulpix, because he's kind of like a dog, but he also shoots fire, so I think that's cool. Plus, he evolves into Ninetales, which is badass. It would be super cool walking that down the street. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Five. What inspired you to start making music? You know, I started out with guitar. I was actually playing a lot of guitar and uh, <clears throat> I picked it up because, you know, I was kind of like that weird guy that liked anime and skating. And uh, in high school, you know, you want to talk to girls. And so like girls like guitar. So I picked up a guitar and tried to learn that. And then, uh, you know, it became a real, um, real thing for me. Like I got really invested into it and a lot of emotional uh, involved things. When like I was struggling or going through a hard time, you know, the guitar was there to vent all of that and out into something musical. And then eventually that translated into other fields of music. Why don't you use your given name? If you don't know, my given name is Wachishka. It's probably just a syllable thing, you know? I like the simple Chishka. It's, it's very, very short and simple, short and sweet. Does it really taste like chicken from my Aunt Brenda? I'm guessing you're referring to like the vegan stuff that are disguised as chicken. Honestly, yeah, uh, I think it does taste like chicken. Uh, if, if I wasn't told that it wasn't chicken, I would have just assumed that. If it's illegal to drink and drive, why do bars have parking lots? That's a good question. That's kind of redundant, isn't it? I don't know, probably the city just trying to get tickets. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? I'm gonna say DMX. What did you start first? Skateboarding or rapping? I started skating first. Uh, skated all through middle school and high school. Uh, that was like, you know, one of my first loves. So, skateboarding first. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Nothing. I don't like sweets. How do you feel about the president? I don't like him. Uh, I think he's racist. And he's not a... He's not intellectually adept as I think he should be. But, you know, hopefully the future goes better. Maybe we'll get a Native American president. That is all my questions. All right, so thank y'all. Uh, once again, I'm Chishka Jackson, and I'm sure if you already asked me a question, you already know that. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna start on YouTube and make this a thing. You guys ask me questions, I'll answer them with uh, complete hon honestly, and uh, none of this is gonna be, you know, staged. I just read them off and just keep going, so it's just immediately what I think of. First, first thing that came to mind.